identical twin tonight. <laughs> I thought it was cool. I thought it was dope. He was trolling, but it was it was, it was funny. It, it worked. See, he knocked down some shots too. Twenty ball. Obviously, it's playing you know obviously well into the third quarter on a second game of a you know back to back. Were you sort of surprised by that sort of thing, or is it you guys need to kind of gain that chemistry? Yeah, just getting that chemistry. Uh, you know, just playing super hard. Uh, on the ball, off the ball, defensively, being well connected. So, you know, no matter if it's a back-to-back, -back, uh, you know, just you know, trying to make up for it. And we got a lot of guys just being active and stuff like that. We just feed off that energy. For all those who might have doubted, it looks like you and Tyler are having a real good time out there, running side Aww. by side, playing off at each other. Are you, are you, are you sort of feeling that also? Yeah, that, it's, that's, it's, it's, it's two guys out there just ha yep, having some fun, you know. Uh, smiling, laughing, you know, just trying to, you know, go at our don't opponents. Like so, that's, so, so that's a lot of fun. <laughs> don't, try to, don't try to say we like each other now. It's the same energy. I mean, do you really feel it also complements each other, that what you do can make each other better? Easy money, yep. You said it just up. Talking about your defensive versatility, and obviously we saw that from the get-go when you came in and were right on Trey and getting that assignment. Sort of what's this role like for you? I mean, no Caleb this year, you're sort of the one through four guy off the bench. Are you embracing that? What's that going to be like for you? Yeah, I mean, whatever the team needs out of me, you know, that's, that's what I'm willing to do. Um, you know, obviously that's probably come in <clears throat> and guard whoever the best player is on the court at the time and uh, bring energy, you know, make shots, cut, play off Duncan, play off Jaime, play off the other guys and, you know, yeah. Does that breed the confidence on the other end when you sort of get in the groove defensively, then you started locking down and then hitting your three-pointers also? Do those things sort of go in lockstep that when it works on one side, it can sometimes work on the other as well? Oh uh, Yeah, a little bit, but I mean, I feel like, you know, if you're not making shots, you know, it still can impact the game different ways. So, um, you know, it's not it's not about offense, it's about defense. And then, you know, that's my defense is going. I mean, I can't feel good on the offense end, you know, so a little bit of it can affect each other, but I try not to let them to uh, – um, come like be together and come together. Do you feel the pressure of more responsibility, or is that something you embrace more responsibility as you continue on in the league? No, nah, I want that for sure. I mean, I worked very hard to get to where I'm at now. I want a bigger role, want more minutes, I want to be more aggressive, you know, on the offensive end, and just have the coaches trust me more and more. You know, I've been with the Heat for about three, four years now, so definitely want you know that that um, confidence and that trust. The way the ball is popping, the way you can shoot threes, it seems like the system works to your game. Is it also a case now maybe you want to feel you have to work on your playmaking also? It just seems like everyone's a playmaker, everyone's a shooter. How do you feel you fall into that? No, nah, I mean, I'm a, I do a lot of different things in the basketball court. You know, I'm not just a one-dimensional player. I feel like I'm a good passer, good cutter. You know, I do a little bit of everything, I feel like. So, you know, I, I fit wherever I got to fit in that, and I'll do whatever I got to do to help the team win. Not just forcing turnovers, but getting a lot of steals, live ball turnovers. You know, this is like a, this is an emphasis for Spill every year, but is he almost emphasizing it to a greater degree this year than usual? Nah, for sure. I mean, from the first uh, training camp practice, first shoot around, you know, we've been um, emphasizing like just deflections being disruptive, you know, getting passing lanes, making plays, just making it hard for the other team to get into the offense. You know, you want to. In this league, you want to make it tough for guys to catch the ball certain places, you know, deny guys, blow up stuff, just make it just, you know, just do what we do, be disruptive for sure. You know, the starting lineup is obviously gaining chemistry as these preseason games go along, but can you just kind of talk about the chemistry of the second unit and you involved with the other guys? Yeah, for sure. I mean, we got a lot of different playmakers and um, a lot of different guys in that um, second unit. You know, obviously, Duncan creates a lot of triggers for us. One of the best shooters in the NBA. Um, great pass as well, becoming a great finisher as well. K Love with his, you know, pops, a shooting big, you know, you can't really guard that. Also his outlet passes and um his rebounding. And then Hame is becoming a great passer as well. His second year in the league, really developing his playmaking. Also has a great three point shot. And then you got Alec Burks, another savvy vet. You know, Drew Smith can run the point. Then you got me just doing what I gotta do to just help the team win. Not that you needed it, but is it nice to get sort of a Jimmy Butler reminder of all he can be in whatever minutes he gets to do yeah, what he did tonight? Yeah, um, super efficient activity level defensively too. Um, yeah, it's uh, uh, he's a, a super unique player. You know how he, how he can do both things uh, uh, at such an elite level um, and doing it in just you know 24 minutes. You know, each one of the, the starters have, have had their moments, you know, in, in the preseason, you know, at some point. And um, Jimmy just wanted to make sure that, uh, you know, he had 
that in a couple moments, uh, you know, tonight. How pleased have you been with not only the types of shots you guys have been generating this preseason, but also where they're coming from on the court? On the yeah, and I, I just like the intention and the ball's moving. You know, it's a, it's a lot harder to guard when you're not necessarily – you don't know where it's going to go. We know where we want it to go, um, but then there has to be a, a freedom, you know, to make decisions, and everybody has to be a live option. We have a lot of weapons on this team, and if we're not utilizing that by uh, moving the ball, passing the ball, finding the open man, finding the advantage, then what's the point of having all the weapons? Uh, you, you can't just do it, you know, build a great offense on paper. You know, there has to be a collaboration. You guys have to um, have intention, you know, to, to make it work and uh, play to how we want to. And, um, you know, from the first day of camp to now, it's uh, the guys have been open-minded about it and set the, setting the foundation, and we just have to continue to, to get better with it. We've all asked a lot about Tyler in relation to how it'll work with him and Terry, but just with in relation to – what you are trying to accomplish both on offense, shot profile wise, defense, disruption. How much has Tyler just really bought in and on the same page as you? Yeah, and he, he was playing, you know, um, similar to this the last six weeks of the season and going into the playoffs. So it, it was set up for a very productive summer. Uh, and, you know, some of the process, you know, started last year. And sometimes it's just great, you know, to get away and uh, let it sink in and, and, get to your player development and, and work on these things. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't understand, you know, why people would question Terry and Tyler, you know, working. Uh, the skill level, the speed, uh, and the willingness, you know, to uh, to make plays. They both can make plays. They, they both uh, can score. They both can make it look easy. They both can create shots, you know, at the end of the clock. Uh, but they also both can play off the catch. They, they – um, and they want to make it work. They like each other, you know. That those, all the hard things. They they already they already have those boxes checked. So it's just a matter of getting enough time uh, together. But you know, more than anything, I just I just love the speed, the speed that they're bringing, you know, our team right now uh, is is bringing um, you know a great deal of life, uh, and uh, I like it. Coach, can you talk about that transition in the third period from the starters to the to the bench, and they went on that great run, and Haywood and Kevin Love got hot. Can you just kind of talk about the resiliency of going on that big run? Yeah, it, was, it started with the defensive activity. I mean, we, we had some deflections and steals uh, at, at the start of the third quarter, uh, and that group, yes, they are ignitable. They really are. I mean, they can they can get it going fast. Um, you know, we've had to work more just to make sure that they feel comfortable defensively on what we're doing. Um, and what the rotations are so that we can take advantage of that skill level and shooting uh, and ignitability going down, down the other end. But, um, yeah, that was a, a close game that, that broke open pretty click, quickly with, uh, with that group. Not that we have to say it, but we seem to keep saying it. Haywood and what he does in so many ways, so many subtle ways yeah. also. Just your thought of his effort today and just growing into someone you sort of rely on to do that. Yeah, he, he's um, – you know, I mean, I, I say this as the, uh, such a high compliment. He's the utility uh, infielder. You, you can pl plug him in a lot of different places defensively, and he makes your defense better. Uh, he can guard, you know, on certain occasions, one through five. He's a very um, disciplined system defender as well. He's in the right spots. Uh, and then, um, you know, he's gotten so much more um, active defensively. He, he's become a playmaker as well. Offensively, yeah, his game has grown tremendously. Um, you know, he's a, um, you know, a great three-point shooter now, but he's also really good cutting behind the ball. And we've seen, he's seen enough and watched enough, ta taken enough notes uh, on Jimmy that, you know, he's been able to, to find open gaps uh, on the baseline. MGM Remix Sports Media, Coach, the young core – a group that finished off the game in a great fashion. Yeah. Um, how has competing against the starters and gaining knowledge from them as you go, as they go? Yeah, they're they're a fun group. They really are. You know, we feel um, really grateful that we've been able to um, kind of restock our our youth talent, uh, and that group has has given an uh, an exuberance, you know, to our locker room. They're fearless, uh, but they're also very respectful. They're coachable. 
Um, we had some really competitive battles in training camp, you know, and they, they took both teams to the wire a couple times, and, uh, which we haven't really had, you know, before. Uh, and they're, um, they enjoy each other. They, they, they had a great summer, uh, and then they built on that. They, uh, they, go on, they move in a pack. Uh, you know, so it's it's fun to see them compete and um, and make plays. They they that group knows how to win. Last question: Were you aware of Jimmy's attempts to emulate Terry with the sleeve on both the same arm and the same leg, the wristband in the same place, and the same color sneakers? Did that I something did not you notice? Even notice. Okay, is, does that surprise you, or is that Jimmy having fun also? Yeah, as, as long as he's not you know wearing some stuff the head coach is wearing, uh, I'm cool with it. All right, thanks. Thanks. <sighs>